Hi, in today's video, we have a look at the patella on MRI and we look at a specific structure in the patella that you should not mistake for pathology. So let's have a look. So here we have a knee MRI and you can see there are some artifacts, etc. So that's not uh, the point of this video. We want to focus on the patella. So let's zoom in here into the patella and then this is what we can see. So when you scroll through here, you might or might not appreciate or see this line here. It's a little bit parallel or even like concave to the surface here. Underlying cartilage is thick, normal, it's fine. But these lines here, they caught or could caught your eye. And so let me just show you here, so a nice tool. Okay, so that, that's what we want to focus on today. What is it? What shall we call it? Is it normal? Is it abnormal? But like I said, it's not a pathology. This is actually a normal finding that you can see in a lot of knee MRIs. But what happens sometimes is that when you start becoming better in your craft, in MSK radiology, you start to pick up new things because you know so much more and your eye gets better and better. It's kind of like you start looking at cases with a completely different resolution and then you start to pick up things like this and this is what happens in the virtual msk fellowship in our live q a discussions all the time and this was actually a case from the live q a session from two weeks ago so somebody was seeing this structure which they probably saw unconsciously many many times before that but never really realized it that it was there and when people get better they start to see subtly these things and that's what we want to focus on we can also see this on the axial so we go here you can see this line here that's what we want to focus on now first of all you can see it's parallel to the lateral facet this is medial lateral patellar facet there and obviously you want to make sure that there is no edema and we can see there is absolutely no edema here in that location here this is the line okay so what is it actually? So let's have a look. So the structure that you just saw there on the MRI, it's called the patellar calcar or calcar, or I'm not sure how to pronounce that on English. And it's an equivalent like what you also see sometimes in the femur, for example. So this was uh, described a couple of years back. And so let's have a look here at the article. So this is the article here in Skeletal Radiology published in November, 2013. Let me zoom in a little bit here. You will find the link to this article in the description down below and also a link to the MSK community portal that we just started a couple of days back and we can have a discussion about it there. So patellar calcar MRI appearance of a previously undescribed anatomical entity. So somebody realized that it's there and now they kind of like go through the things here. But let's um, first of all have a look at the results here just from the abstract. The patellar calcar, which was exactly the structure that I just showed you, was visualized in about 80% of MRIs. So you have seen this, right? So that's 100% sure. And, you know, it was um, well seen in just about one third of the cases or one fourth of cases, 25%. Sometimes it's very, very hazy and you don't see it so nicely, but that's not really important. And very interesting also, it was always on the lateral side. So really important, but the conclusion is it may mimic patellar stress fracture or osteochondritis dissecans and the radiologist and clinicians should be familiar with this anatomical entity. And you know, or you're probably more familiar with the femoral calcar here, which is that line here, which helps also with force distribution. So there are these different trabecular networks within a bone. And when they become more dense because of increased stress at that location, that's what's uh, believed to create these calcars. So a funny side note, the femoral calcar was first described by a German uh, clinician named Merkel, no, not this, this one, different one, in 1874. So just a little uh, historical side fact here. So and before we move on, I just give you 10 seconds to like the video and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. So let's go to the images here because I think that's all we need to look at. So this is a typical appearance of the calcar. You can see we are on the lateral aspect of the knee here on a couple of consecutive slices. And then on axials, exactly the same. You're on the lateral side. This is the best anterior tendons. 
then this is the calcar here. This is not a stress fracture. This is no osteochondritis, dissecans, or, or any anything other. This is just a normal thing here. Even on CT, you can see it here. That's all good. Yeah, very interesting. And there, just another case. And when we go, these are just then the differentials. So let's have a look at, there was one table. Um, yeah, it is located in the lateral patella. So I hope this was helpful to you. So next time you see this, you don't have to worry about something. You don't have to look something up. You just know it. It's a normal finding. Don't worry about it. Don't even mention it. Um, if somebody asks you, you can just be um, very quick and also reference to that paper. Now, I will post this video here or a link to this video also on my new community portal, which is free for everybody to use. you find the link in the description down below. And I'll quickly show you that here in, in a second. So this is the community portal, Agnet Radiology. you find the link in the description down below. And you can see we are already 138 members here on this platform. There is currently a contest going on to name this skeleton. So I bought the skeleton. Uh, you can give it a name and I will select a couple of names. And then we do a vote and the person who wins or whose name wins gets a 30 minute free one-on-one -on -one patching session with me where we can discuss one or two cases. That's that. Uh, people are introducing themselves here. It's nice. We are discussing PVNAS, x ray So it's people are introducing themselves. Kai is posting a, a nice case here with a little quiz. So it's really a very nice community here. There is also a classroom and you can see there is an evolving series of lectures where I explain more about myself and what this whole community is all about and what my plans are, etc. So go check that out as well. And I will post here a video, or all my YouTube videos will be posted here. You can see, for example, the unboxing of the skeleton video is also here. And then you can have a discussion about this here, because it's much easier to follow a discussion here rather than on YouTube. So that's the reason. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And then I'll see you in the next video.